What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Hi. Hi. Hi, haircut girl. <laughs> Abby got a haircut. Can you guys tell? Look how cute. <laughs> Ryan's haircut's looking cute too. Yeah. Yeah, I and Ryan have the same yeah, length of hair. We're twinsies. Twins. <laughs> yeah. Twins. Got curls and everything. Yeah. yeah. Where's my curls? <laughs> You're Look at not, my curls. You didn't You're not in the group. Look at my curls. Look you at this one. Long Look at this one. You're not allowed. Mm. Look at this curl that right here. That doesn't count. That's a wave. You belong with the wave girls. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed in our group. Fine. Bye. We have a bunch of trade-ins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said that wrong. There are a ton. Yes. Where? They're everywhere. Yeah, they're kind of everywhere. We might have to show you guys some of the trades at the end of the day because there's a lot. There's like, this. Like this, baby. It's a little dusty. Are we going to separate it? Yeah. There's no. also, yes, we are. There's also this. <laughs> and there's this. And there's this Xbox One with an external hard drive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> there's a Genesis, three controllers, the gun for Lethal Enforcers, which we have the game as well. A Master System with the gun, a Game Gear, two Dreamcasts. One of them is the Sega Sports, the black one, which is super cool. Ryan's still testing this stuff. Are these orders? Those are orders. This stack is not an order. These are Half of this should not be orders. Some of it's not. Some of it is, though. And I think this is from today. And we have a ton of stuff in the back that we're still working on. Um, so, yeah. Someone made a very large order. All this stuff right here, plus all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's a local pickup, so we need to get it scanned out, and then they can come and get it. We should call them. Yeah. Yeah. So here are some of the trades. These, this whole stack here came with the Xbox One. Nothing too crazy, but lots of Xbox One games, which is cool. I think Abby pulled out a couple that she wanted to keep. Yeah, I got these. So we have all those. This home front one has a steel book, and then we also got Caesar's Palace with the Xbox One. <clears throat> and then these are the two that Abby wants to keep. Super Lucky's Tale and Town of whatever, Town Light. of Light. Yeah, it's like a um, like a walkthrough horror game. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh wee. All right, guys, we are finally closed, and we now have time to go through and show you guys everything. We actually ended up staying a little bit late. The people that were trading in the big bundle of stuff, um, they ended up coming back right before closing. So we were able to finalize the trade. They had a ton of store credit, obviously. And so they bought a bunch of stuff with that. They still have lots of credit left over. Uh, but now I've got everything kind of set up here. We already kind of showed you the console, so we're not going to be going over those again. Uh, but um, in, in case we missed anything, it was mostly Sega stuff. The highlights, there's a black sports Sega Dreamcast, a 32X. We still need the cables for it, but, uh, and then a Master System, a Saturn, and a Sega CD Model 2. There was some other stuff in there as well. So, half, well, more than half of these trades are not stickered yet because we just printed the tags. We're going to have to put them all on tomorrow. So, unfortunately, if you want to know the prices for anything, you're going to have to go check out the website. But, with all that said, let's take a look. So we're going to start over here with the trades that are not from the big, big bundle. So um, so this stuff is priced. First, we have a Sega Genesis Multitap, official, uh, official Sega brand one. We have a Skylanders Portal and this weird little <laughs> emblem that you put on the front of your car to make it turn into a transformer. And then we have Pokemon White version, Yokai Watch, a manual for Kirby's Dream Land, we have a complete and box copy of Ninja Turtles for the NES. It's in pretty good condition. A little bit of creasing and stuff on the top. There's a little rip on the bottom right there, but overall, it's in pretty good shape. We also have Mystery Quest. This one is also in pretty good condition. Um, mine is just slightly better, though. This one, it's listed as having just a box and the cartridge. It technically does have the manual, but the manual is missing the front cover. So I just put it in as having no manual. Then we have Skyrim Legendary Edition, Last of Us Remastered, and We Happy Few, which is not in the best condition. And then we have Smash for Wii U, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Mario Kart 8, Splatoon, 
Zelda Wind Waker, Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker, Lego City Undercover, and Lego Movie. Smallest. What is this? It's the solution. I can't tell what it smells like. It kind of smells like... It smells kind of like soap mixed with... It smells like, like fish oil. Mixed with fish, mixed with... Um, let me smell it again. Yeah. Let me smell it. There's one smell that I smell that I need to re-smell. Eh, it's not really coming from that. It's coming from like the dried stuff. Oh, peppermint. Uh. It smells like peppermint mixed with fish. <laughs> then we have Jungle Strike, Cool Spot... And then this newbie brand universal cleaning kit. I guess you can use it for pretty much anything, but there it is. Then we have, these are not from, okay, this is just a bunch of copies of Splatoon. These are not from today. I don't know why these are out here. Those are, because we had to reprice them. Oh, they're, they were reprised. Um, and then we have some Lego stuff here. That's the number for the set for this Star Wars guy. And then we have this Lord of the Rings set here, 9437, or 73. It is missing some stuff, unfortunately, but it's mostly there. Most of the minifigs are there, but there are some that are just parts and pieces. So it's not fully complete, but still kind of cool. And then we're going to get into the stuff from the, from the really big trade-in from today. So first up, we have Lethal Enforcers. This did come with the gun. For Master System, we have Great Volleyball, Double Dragon, Dead Angle, Hang On Safari Hunt, and then for 32X, we have Virtual Racing Deluxe, Motocross Championship. Up. What was that? The soccer one's messed up. What are you talking about? Look in the back of the... No, the Super Master System. What? The Master System. You just said... Never mind. <laughs> We have Hang On Safari Hunt, Dead Angle, Double Dragon, and Great Volleyball. Those are the Master System ones. Oh, I thought you were on the complete ones. No, we're not on the... Those are the loose ones. And then... So Abby said there's a problem with one of these ones. We have 36 Great Holes for 32X. Knuckles Chaotix, which... That's a really cool one to get. And then Doom. And then for Master System again, we have Wonder Boy, Pro Wrestling, Alex Kidd in Miracle World, Astro Warrior... And Kung Fu Kid. The ones that have like this, the white, the markings that are like the, what am I trying to say? It's like worn white on the edge of the spine there. Those are marked as poor condition in the system, just so you know. So this one's really not that bad, but it is marked as poor. Then we have Madden 97, Skitchen, Power Monger, Marble Madness, Syndicate, Dark Castle, Adam's Family, Taz Escape from Mars, The Humans, and WrestleMania, the arcade game. And then Championship Pool, Troy Aikman Football, Lost Vikings, Pac-Man 2, Eternal Champions, Super Battleship, uh, Zoom, Sonic, uh, Sonic Hedgehog 3, Arcade Classics, Shinobi 3, that one's kind of messed up, Rocket Knight Adventures, also kind of messed up, FIFA Soccer 95, and then Tecmo Super Bowl, Championship Bowling, uh, Wonder Boy and Monster World. Super Ghouls, or not Super, but just Ghouls and Ghosts. Sonic 1, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 2, and Hardball 3. Then onto the box stuff. We have Great Baseball. That's the one Abby was talking about. The whole back is missing. So I think this was just listed as cartridge and manual, but it does have most of the case. And then Hang On Safari Hunt. Turtles Hyperstone Heist. This was the, the gem of the Genesis stuff. This unfortunately does not have a manual. Um, there's a little weirdness on the case there. And then there we go. Cartridge is pretty good, but no manual. Then we have Fatal Rewind, LHX Attack Chopper, uh, Street Fighter II Special Champion Edition, Madden 96, Wayne's World, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Paperboy 2, NBA Showdown 94, and F-22 Interceptor. Then we have box and cartridge only, so no manual, Minish Cap which is in pretty good condition. Little crease on the side there. Other than that, pretty good, but no manual. And then Top Gear 2, Rippin' Rider Snowboarding, Tennis 2K2, NFL 2K1, and Lynx Crossbow Training. And then we have a Sega Dreamcast web browser, Wet Tricks Plus, Blue Stinger, 
Bust a Move 4, Seaman, Marvel vs. Capcom, the, the All-Stars version. And then we have Project Justice, which these are not in any particular order. This is the highlight of the Dreamcast stuff. This is, I think, we had this one priced at 250 which is really cool. I actually already have this game, luckily, so I don't I don't feel the need to keep it, obviously. There were some more, I will say there were some more Dreamcast games and some other stuff that uh, we're adding to the collection. So you'll see that in the next pickup video. We have record of, I think it's Lodos War or Lodos War. I'm not really sure. And then we have some Japanese Saturn games. We have Dead or Alive and Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. And then for Sega CD, we have the rock painting hot hits like CD combo thing. And then also Shenmue for the Dreamcast. Then we have an Action Replay Plus for the Saturn and a an official uh, Genesis cleaning kit. For Game Gear, we have Formula One, NHL Hockey, Sonic 2, Echo the Dolphin, Columns, Sonic 1, Pac-Man, and then the gem of the Game Gear stuff is Micro Machines. This is a pretty hard-to-find Game Gear game. Uh, at the time of filming, there's only two posted on eBay. Um, so, and ours is cheaper than both of those. <laughs> so, I think we had this one priced at 45 The cheapest one on eBay, I think, was either 55 or 60 And there's one for, like, 90 Both loose. And then, lastly, we have Sega Saturn and Sega CD stuff. This Die Hard Arcade, unfortunately, is very sun-faded. The manual is creased, there's a thing on the front, and there's no back case artwork. So it's just the disc and the manual. The disc also has a sticker over it. So this is like an ex-rental copy. The manual is folded in half. Uh, this is priced barely above a disc-only copy. We also have Bust a Move 2, Virtua Fighter 2, Virtual On Cyber Troopers, Tomcat Alley, Double Switch, Bram Stoker's Dracula, NHL 94, Lethal Enforcers 2 Gunfighters, NBA Jam, and Lynx, the challenge, excuse me, the challenge of golf. So that is pretty much everything. Um, there was a box of sports games, which I'm not going to bother showing. They were all like PS2 and original Xbox, just Madden, NBA, whatever. Um, this is ready to come out. This is available tomorrow for people to purchase, so that's pretty cool. People keep asking for regular switches, but in the glass case over there, we only have a switch light. So, yeah. This stuff is also from today, just some cables, some other controllers, random stuff. Abby's factory resetting consoles, I think, yep. right? And then, uh, yeah, we need to get home. The price tags have printed. There's a lot of them. So we'll get all that stuff stickered tomorrow. And uh, but it's all on the website right now. It's all Silent Hill up in this bitch.